Hi, welcome to another edition of The Uplift. I'm Reverend Patty Paris. I'm here to pray us in, and then we'll talk about, well, uplifting things. Let's pray. Ah, what a wonderful day. What a wonderful time. What a wonderful life. What I know is that all life is some part of the life of God. I know that spirit is, is demonstrating itself and all of its qualities through us and as us. I am just delighted that the beloved has sought to find itself in form as each one of us. I know that we come together by divine appointment right here, right now, just to be in each other's company, just to uplift each other by our presence. I know that God is the healing power of all of us. And I know that as we remember who we are, that healing simply flows through us as us into the world. We heal everyone around us just by our presence. We know and accept that we are some part of the life of God's right here, right now. And so I give thanks for this time we spend together. I call it good. I know it is blessed. And so it is. How are you doing? Another day, another sheltering in place, right? I know the feeling, it's, it's really wild, isn't it? It is COVID-19 now coming into its fourth month. Here we are in July. And I know we started sheltering in place in the middle of March. So, oh my, it's just been such a long time. And I know I'm growing weary. <laughs> I know I'm tired of it. And, and I'm, I'm betting you are as well, you know? I miss you. I miss us getting together here at the sanctuary. I really miss the interaction. I miss your energy. You know, it's always, it's always good when, when someone is in the room. You know how it is when they come in and their energy comes in before them. And we just know of each other as that, as the energy of individuality. And so I'm missing that as well. And in this time when we are sheltering in place it's, and growing weary of this being the same old like kind of groundhog day, it's the same thing day in and day out, I know that it can become wearisome and we can become, you know, just flattened by it. But there is good in the world and I wanted to focus on that today because this is called the uplift after all and I really do want this to be a moment in your day that you can tune in and be uplifted. So here's what Ernest Holmes had to say about good. This comes from the Science of Mind textbook. There is nothing in the universal order that denies the individual's good or self-expression, so long as that self-expression does not contradict the general good, does not contradict goodness itself. There is nothing in the universe that denies us the right to be happy. If our happiness does not deny or interfere with the general good, the universe remains unlimited, though, though the whole world has suffered from the illusion of limitation. Isn't that odd, right? Isn't that odd? You know? So I know there is good in the world. I know there is limitless good. I know that God is our good and that, that good is our God, and that we have the ability to demonstrate limitless good in our lives. We demonstrate only to the extent that we can believe, embody, uh, and demonstrate. So I know you don't get on the news channels the good news, right? They only give us the bad news. They give us what to worry about next. They give us the, well, you, you think that's bad. Wait till you hear this. You know, the old newspaper's term of if it bleeds, it leads. You know, what a horrible thought that is. And it's true. We do get miserable and horrible news on the TV. So it's all about doom and gloom. It's all about what to worry about, what to worry about next. And if you've stopped worrying about this, come back and worry about it some more because we have more bad news to give you, right? But Ernest Holmes was about the good. He was about us focusing on the good, keeping our attention focused on the good. And what we know is where we place our focus, where we place our attention, that's what grows. And in Creative Living, he said this, what the whole world has believed operates through us. 
but we're not aware of it. So we should not be surprised that we are carrying around within us thoughts that deny our good. However, we know that one kind of thought can erase another. So it's our obligation, it's our duty, it's our work to look at the good news. I think we ought to concentrate, particularly now, when we're sheltering at home and we're far apart from each other and we don't have the, the energy of hugs and the energy of, of uh, you know, attention to uplift us, that we make it our purpose right now to focus on the good. So I went searching for good news. And I did research online and I went through uh, online newspapers and magazines and I found good. There is good out there. What is it? What is it Emma Curtis Hopkins used to say? You know, there is good in the universe for you and you ought to have it. Well, that's what I want to talk about today. The good that is in the world that we ought to know about and we ought to experience. So I'm going to start with Christina Wong. She is an actor and a comedian. She was she had a fabulous one woman uh, presentation, one woman actor that she was presenting or was, was ready to take coast to coast uh, when the pandemic hit. So it shut down her whole thing. But she still wanted to remain active, still wanted something to do, still wanted to be part of the solution and not part of the problem, we know this. She started making masks. And she had a lot of material around her because she makes all of her costumes and things in her home. So she started making masks and sending them to anybody that would ask for them. She simply asked that you pay for the shipping and she would send the mask. Well, she got such an overwhelming response, she couldn't keep up with the demand. So then she called for uh, people to help her make masks. She calls them the aunties, or the aunties if you prefer. <laughs> she calls them the auntie sewing squad. And she has now up to 500 aunties sewing masks all around the country. She started a Facebook page. Really, honest to God, you can find it. It's called the Auntie Sewing Squad. And it's a Facebook page. And you too can become a volunteer making masks. You can become part of the Auntie, Auntie Squad and make masks and send them out. That's such a great thing to do. What a, what a great way to be part of a creative solution. I found something else in the news. I found that renewable energy has, has topped coal in energy production for the first time in the United States. Yay, yay, <laughs> renewable energy. Yay, wind energy and hydro energy and solar energy. We've outperformed coal for the first time in the United States. Yay, let's keep doing it. Let's keep going there. We're going to put coal right out of business. What else did I learn? I wanted to share more good news. According to the Bumblebee Conservation Trust, many types of bumblebees have seen a decline in recent years. Some populations have declined up to 70%. And you know that's bad news for us because you know that one out of every three bites of food you take is a product of pollination by a bumblebee. Think about it, one, th one third of our food sources itself from bumblebee pollination. So we would be really out of a lot of food that we eat if there were no more bees. Anyway, the good news is bees had a great winter this past winter. After dying off in droves, what, what's called colony collapse the year before, this past winter, they held their own. They absolutely, re their numbers remained stable this past winter and they're starting to, to go up. And in fact, two, two farmers in England planted 41 acres of wildflowers just for the bees. And it turns out they were doing this statistical work and they said that they are feeding over a million bees in their 41 acres of wildflowers. So that's a wonderful thing. Ah, the bees are good. They're holding their own. I ran across this. The Dutch parliament this year has voted to permanently close mink fur farms. Thank you, God, right? We don't need to wear animals' fur. Leave it on the animal where it belongs. 
And what else can I tell you? Fair share, the United Kingdom's biggest food redistribution charity announced this week that since the COVID lockdown, they have seen a 25% surge in the number of businesses signing up to divert surplus food to organizations that support people in need. That is a fabulous increase. And last week, they provided charities and community groups with enough food to deliver 3.2 million meals to people. It's amazing stuff. See what we're capable of doing? Now that we are shut down, now that we're sheltering in place, we're finding creative outlets for ourselves to do good in different ways. And this is wonderful. There is good in the world, and we ought to experience it. There is good in the world, and we ought to be demonstrating it. It's up to us to be the good in the world. I ran across a video of a boater that came up alongside of a bear who was trying to swim across, I think it was a lake, I'm not sure, but the bear had a big plastic jug stuck on its head. You, hopefully it had honey in it, right? I think of poo anytime I think of it. But the poor thing had a big plastic jug stuck to its head and the boat came alongside and, the, and, and the, one of the gentlemen in the boat grabbed the jug and pulled it off the bear's head saving its life, you know, if it couldn't eat, it couldn't sustain itself. More good news. There is good news happening all around us. We may not feel it, we may not see it, because we're so focused in on what's going wrong. But it's up to us to find out what's going right. It's up to us to look for the good news, to find the good news, to focus on the good news, right? Because what we know is what we focus on grows. Where we place our attention, that's where our energy flows. And we know that, that there is so much more to be grateful for than to be sorry for in this world. Regardless of what's going on right now, regardless of the COVID, of the sheltering in place, of the unemployment, of all of this stuff that we hear over and over and over in the news, we can seek out and we can find the good stuff because we know good stuff is happening. We can transform the world, or at least we can transform our little corner of it by being positive, by doing the creative work, by finding creative outlets for good, by changing someone else's life for the better, by doing something that we can do in order to change our little part of the world. In the Science of Mind textbook, Ernest Holmes says this, the more completely we realize good, happiness, and success, the more perfectly we express God. And the more of God we become, that is, the more God becomes personified through us. We have to always remember that. The more good we do, the more we are demonstrating the true nature of God. Because we say God is our good and our good is our God. So the more good that we demonstrate, that means the more God we demonstrate. The more God we demonstrate, the more we become closely aligned with our own God nature. We are that in form. We are spirit in form. And it is, it is ours to do the good in the world, to uplift our little corner of it, to be the change we wish to see in the world. Be part of the good news, and I'll be reporting on you next time, don't you think? Absolutely. Let's pray out. I know there is God in the world. I know there is good in the world. I know that God is the only activity and presence that there is in the world. I know that spirit has birthed itself into form right from the big bang when, when spirit said, I am, and the entire physical universe was birthed. It continues to create. It continues to create. Spirit continues to inhabit form and abandon form all the time. And we know that that is good. That is good happening. Spirit is investing itself 
in the physical form to know of itself as that, to know of itself as people, as animals, as the sky, as birds, as fish, as everything in the manifest universe. We know the very air is alive with the power and presence of God itself. Every cell, every molecule, every subatomic particle of us is energy, and we know that that energy is God. It is the, it, it is the beloved knowing of itself in form. So we just take that in. We know of ourselves as spirit. We know that good is our God and our God is our good. We know that we are that. And we step forward in the power and the presence and the glory and in the love and joy that is spirit as us in the world. And so it is. Giving great thanks for your tuning in every day to the uplift. I know vision that we are one. There is no separation in spirit. The energy that is me and the energy that is you is one and the same energy. I look forward to seeing you next time from my heart to yours vision. We are one. See you next time on The Uplift. Bye-bye.